This is a big problem in India. People relieving themselves in the open because they haven't got a toilet. That's why a lot of people suffer from all kinds of illnesses like diarrhea. The water they drink and use for washing is infected by their own excreta. In India, if you look, there is social acceptance for open defecation. So this has been primarily a major problem. Ninu works for one of the microfinance partners in the Finnish project. She goes around villages to create awareness for this problem. They do not realize that there is a direct correlation between their diseases and open defecation. The people who haven't got a toilet are either urban slum dwellers and habituated rural residents. They are often too poor to buy one. In the state of Madhya Pradesh, for example, more than 70% of the people relieve themselves in the open. In the state of Orissa, this problem is even bigger. More than 80% of the people do not use a toilet. Local microfinance institutions partnering in the Finnish project stimulate local people to borrow money for sanitation. This enables poor people to buy their own toilets. They can pay it back in 12 months or 24 months and with a small interest rate. Here they can own a toilet spending very less, say 200 rupees, which is lesser than the amount that they would be spending for their children or their own health had they been practicing open defecation. This toilet has been built thanks to a microloan. Partners in the Finnish project give people support to deal with their financial difficulties. During these meetings, the partners also give people advice as to how they can improve their personal hygiene. See, it is important that when I enter a village, I just don't convince the first person who comes to me, construct a toilet and leave the village. It is important that we go in a village and ensure that at least 90 to 95% coverage is ensured. It is very important for everyone in the village to have their own toilet. If only a few villagers use a toilet, the water still gets infected. But thanks to the commitment of the partners in India, lots of households are now participating in the Finnish project. We take so much of effort to convince households to go ahead for sanitation structure. But the kind of happiness that you see on their faces once the toilet is constructed and they use it. You see women going for the first time to use a toilet. She is very happy when she comes back. So that kind of change has happened because there has been a sanitation program under Finnish. Sickness has become less of a problem. People can now keep on working to earn their income without suffering from illnesses, or because they have their own toilet. Nirumpama is very proud when she shows us her lavatory. For the first time since her marriage, she can now go to the toilet in a dignified and hygienic way. This toilet has been built thanks to a microloan. This toilet has improved her life dramatically. <laughs> Nirumpama's health has improved. She can now earn a better income. This also enables her to provide for her handicapped child. During the process, the partners of Finnish cooperate closely with local government. Also, this helps them to utilize any subsidies available. But even so, Nirumpama still had to convince her own family to join the Finnish project so that they could get the additional money required to build their own toilet. The absence of toilets is not a big problem for men in India. For them, it is socially acceptable to relieve themselves in public. For women, it is inconvenient and lacks privacy. They can only relieve themselves when no one is around. You know, the biggest difficulty is for women. And women do not 
speak much or do not come out to speak about their problems uh, in community forums or even at their household level they cannot share with their husbands the problem that they face to go for defecation they have to get up early very early before anybody could see them go really late even if they suffer from diarrhea or any other disease they have to go outside far hide themselves from other people Currently, a lot of sanitation loans are being provided in India, so that women like Niron Pama can now lead a normal life. Vijay is one of the initiators of the Finnish project. He has to do a lot of travelling because the Finnish project is to be found all over India. Vijay often visits the project sites and engages with the partner organizations in the field. Currently we are operating in about six states. But uh, you know, over the course of the project, that is still 2014, we expect to be in about 10 states at least. Finnish is currently operating in six states in India. In the future, the project will expand. One of the areas where Finnish is working is Odisha, a state in the eastern part of the country. This is one of the hundreds of thousands of toilets that are currently being built. Finnish hopes to reach its target in 2014. We have taken our ambitious target of 1 million toilets by 2014. Big private and public parties collaborate in the Finnish project so that a large number of toilets can be constructed. Companies like Tata AIG Life Insurance, SNS Real, National Housing Bank, Central Bank of India and National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development partner with the United Nations University and Waste from the Netherlands in Finnish. Even so, the target of one million toilets will not be enough to solve the sanitation problem in India. It's a very small number if you look at the size of India because you know if you go by the uh, percentage of people who practice open defecation, we are talking about 150 million toilets as a possible potential for India to be totally open defecation free. This is why Vijay hopes that more partners will contribute to the project so that it can be expanded in India and introduced into other countries. You know, all the private institutions, global institutions, I think should, uh, should take a little more interest in looking at financing Finnish. Uh, for one thing, it's a, it's, a, it's a very responsible investment because you're actually promoting a really good cause. At the same time, the institutions can make a decent rate of return. And uh, what more can financial institutions ask for? Here is a case where you know you can actually make some decent profit. At the same time, you can make an impact uh, through responsible investing. <laughs>